What up folks, it's your boy the Pittsburgh Golf Hack. And as you can see, it ain't exactly golfing weather. Or is it? I got something pretty cool to show you. Let's check it out. So today I'm showing you the Fee Golf Mobile Golf Simulator. Now this is not a 10 or $20,000 simulator. I don't expect it to act like one, but what it is gonna allow us to do is play simulated golf in the wintertime indoors using a swing stick or actual golf clubs. So as we unbox the Fee Golf, I have to say, pretty cool representation of a good product. Really nice packaging. There we see the swing stick. We've got a charging cable. We've got the swing stick itself. There's a safety strap, which I don't intend to use. And we have the brains of the operation here, which is the sensor, which will go on the end of the club to actually basically analyze our swing. Trying out the swing stick. I like the weight of it, like the feel. Has a really cool clicking noise when you swing it. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is download the Fee Golf app, and then we're going to open it, and you will need to turn your phone sideways. While the app is firing up, we wanna turn on the Fee Golf sensor by holding in the button until it turns red and starts flashing. As the golf boots up, you're going to see that the sensor will automatically connect to the Fee Golf app, and you can move the sensor around and see the two are connected. Now you can use Apple Play to connect your phone to your TV. I'm using the lightning adapter to HDMI, and the HDMI going to my TV with a battery charging cable because I found the Apple Play lagged a little bit, but Fee Golf is going to suck your battery dead quickly. Now one last thing that I have is I have a tripod set up because there are some things you're going to have to control from your phone and it makes it easier than having to bend over with the phone on the TV stand. Alright, so i got the driving range set up here with driver. Let's give it a couple shots here and I'll show you how it works. So we're going to set up like as if we were hitting driver. So you're going to get in your driver stance. Hold your stance. Ready. We'll say ready swing. Ready. That rarely happens. 240, not bad. Not sure I'll buy that swing speed. So you can change the clubs as well. So I'm going to switch from driver over to, let's say, a 7 iron, which in real life I hit about 150 yards. So let's see what we get with the fee golf. Off center again, but about 150. Okay, so I've got the Fee Golf set up to play one of the built in courses. Couple of notes the courses in the Fee Golf app, the graphics aren't really that great, but I will have to say the gameplay is very realistic. Uh, I feel like that you hit a bad shot, it's going to show in the Fee Golf app here. So the simulation is, is pretty real. Um, the one thing about Fee Golf, though, that you have to do is you have to get on the range and hit the clubs. It's not like playing on a console where it's going to tell you how many yards you can hit with each club. You're going to have to get on the range and figure that out for yourself. So very realistic gameplay. Uh, if you're a golfer, I think it's something that you can appreciate. But we're going to tee off here on this course at the par 4, 286 yards. Um, to aim, we're going to simply push the button on the top here of the sensor and change our aim by twisting the head and then hit it at the top again to confirm. And so we're gonna tee off with driver here and we'll get this party started. Ready. Well, not that great, but we'll take it. Fifty eight yards in the sandwich. Ready. All right, we're on the green. Now, that circle that you see on there, if we can get the ball within there, if we don't make it in the hole, then if we get it within that circle, we will uh, get a, 
a gimme basically for our next putt, so a tap in. So if we miss this, we miss our birdie putt, and we're still within that ring, we'll get a tap in for par. And we didn't. All right, let's try to finish this off. So now I want to talk about what is probably my favorite part of the Fee Golf Simulator. Fee Golf and World Golf Tour have actually teamed up to allow you to play World Golf Tour, which if you've never played before, it is a mobile platform golf game that you can play. The graphics are out of this world. Really great looking golf courses that look realistic, but you can play World Golf Tour using your Fee Golf, which means you can play Bethpage Black, Pebble Beach, Pinehurst, Marion, Oakmont, all these courses right from the comfort of your living room. Now to get all these courses, you're going to actually have to pay a subscription. It's $2 a month, but you get all of these courses that are very realistic that you get a chance to play all the time. So even if you don't pay the $2 a month like I do for the full subscription, World Golf Tour still gives you one course to play for free with your fee golf, which is Wolf Creek out in Nevada. So I've already got us teed up here to play Wolf Creek, so let's tee it off and I'll show you a little bit of the gameplay in it. Okay, we'll take that. We do have a par five here, uphill, three wood. It's already got selected, so we'll go ahead and hit. A little wayward. All right, in the bunker, story of my life. We've got a sand wave. We're just going to try to get out of here. Probably not going to make it on the green, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, just short. About what I thought. A little chip up. Okay, we're on the green. Oh, we're going to get a little roll back. Look at that. All right, so we're on the green. One thing that World Golf Tour allows you to do is you can either putt it out or accept the strokes. I always just accept the strokes, especially in this count because it's basically a tap in butt. Even if it gives you two or three strokes, I always just take them because putting on World Golf Tour is incredibly difficult. I'll go ahead and accept the strokes and we'll move on. Okay, so not sure what you all thought, but I was pretty impressed with the Fee Golf Simulator. I thought the gameplay was realistic. The yardages that I saw in there were, were pretty real. But at the end of the day, this allowed me to play indoor golf at a very affordable rate in my house in the wintertime and, and I'm actually being able to swing a stick, swing a club. So it's, you know, in my opinion, it's definitely a good value. Now, speaking of value, the Fee Golf system will run you $250 brand new, plus the $2 a month subscription if you want all the courses in World Golf Tour. Now, you can find some better deals like I did on eBay and get this unit used. However, versus thousands of dollars to have a simulator in your home, you really can't beat it. The big question is, can I use my Fee Golf Swing Analyzer on a real golf club? And the answer to that is absolutely. All you have to do is place the Swing Analyzer into the end of your golf club that you want to hit with. And once it's in there, you just fire up the driving range on your app and now you're able to hit a real golf club in a simulated fashion. So. Technically, if you have a area that you can swing a full club, like a garage with a high ceiling, you can buy the fee golf, throw it on a golf club, get yourself a hitting net, and have yourself a very inexpensive 
simulator to play on in the winter time. So spoiler alert, we are going to hit real golf clubs, but we're not going to hit real golf clubs today. Next episode, we're going to go up to the Trackman simulator and see how accurate that this swing analyzer is in comparison to a real Trackman simulator. So that's all I got for you on the Fee Golf simulator. Again, really cool device, highly recommend. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Make sure you go down and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that as well. One final note, very exciting note, the Pittsburgh Golf Hack monthly podcast has officially been kicked off on iTunes and Google Podcast. So really cool material that we're going to put out there once a month for you. Hit up the podcast channel, check us out. That being said, though, till the next time, you all get out and hit them straight and keep on hacking. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got more stuff coming your way soon.